Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss that combines the principles of game theory and lean startup methodology. We'll explore how game theory simulations can act as a catalyst for lean startup experimentation. So let's dive right in. Got a coffee break? Embrace your inner wolf, step up. Forget titles and hierarchies. It's all about problem solving. Lead or follow to ignite outcomes. Play your part, embody our brand. Zero excuses. Build your wolf pack, savor victory. Validate your expertise, attain mastery. The road to freedom awaits. Engage, flaunt our brand. Unleash your power at buildyourwolfpack.com. Unleash now at buildyourwolfpack.com. Game Theory Simulation Game theory simulations serve as a powerful catalyst for lean startup experimentation. They provide entrepreneurs with a controlled environment to analyze strategic interactions, understand customer behavior, and make data-driven decisions. By incorporating game theory simulations into the lean startup methodology, entrepreneurs can increase their chances of success and optimize their strategies. Game theory simulations are a powerful tool that allows us to model and analyze strategic interactions between multiple players. It helps us understand how individuals or organizations make decisions based on their preferences and beliefs about the actions of others. These simulations enable us to explore various scenarios, predict outcomes, and optimize strategies. Let's explore how game theory simulations can be used as a catalyst for lean startup experimentation. Imagine you have an innovative idea for a product or service, and you want to test its viability before investing significant time and resources. By incorporating game theory simulations, you can simulate various scenarios, understand competitive dynamics, and make informed decisions. Here's a simple example to illustrate how game theory simulations work. Suppose you're developing a new smartphone app, and there are two other competing apps on the market. Using game theory, you can model the behavior of potential users, considering factors like app features, pricing, and user preferences. By creating a simulation, you can analyze different strategies and their outcomes. For instance, you can explore how changing your app's features or pricing affects user adoption rates and market share. This information is invaluable for lean startup experimentation, as it allows you to make data-driven decisions and iterate on your product to find the optimal strategy. Are you ready to unleash your entrepreneurial spirit? Introducing Build Your Wolf Pack Infinity Game a thrilling live-action game where you start with $300 or just $1 and strategically build your own Wolfpack empire. Choose your product or service, target your market, set your pricing, and devise a winning marketing strategy. Compete, cooperate, and collaborate with fellow entrepreneurs in this game that combines game theory, cooperation, and iterative decision-making. Are you ready to become the ultimate business tycoon? Join the Build Your Wolfpack Infinity Game and conquer the entrepreneurial world today. Visit buildyourwolfpackgame1.com and start your journey to success. Lean Startup Methodology Let's now connect the dots between game theory simulations and lean startup methodology. The core principles of lean startup, including customer validation and rapid iteration, align perfectly with game theory simulations. Instead of relying solely on intuition or guesswork, entrepreneurs can use simulations to inform their experiments and test different hypotheses. Customer validation is a crucial aspect of the Lean Startup methodology. Simulations enable entrepreneurs to gather insights into customer preferences and behaviors in a controlled environment. By simulating different scenarios and observing how users interact with various options, startups can identify potential bottlenecks or areas for improvement. Game theory simulations also support the iterative process of lean startup experimentation. Startups can continuously refine their strategies by simulating different market conditions, competition dynamics, and pricing models. This iterative approach allows entrepreneurs to learn quickly, adapt changes, and pivot their business models when necessary. Components of a game theory simulation a game theory simulation consists of several key components that collectively define the structure and dynamics of the strategic interactions being modeled. Let's explore these components in detail. Players or agents. Players represent the decision-making entities involved in the game. They can be individuals, organizations, or any other relevant entities. Each player has a set of strategies from which they can choose. Strategies. Strategies are the different courses of action available to each player. These strategies define how players make decisions and respond to the actions of others. A player selects a strategy based on their objectives, preferences, and beliefs about the actions of other players. Payoff Matrix 
The payoff matrix quantifies the outcomes or payoffs associated with each combination of strategies chosen by the players. It represents the utility or value that each player receives based on the outcome of the game. The payoffs can be expressed in various forms, such as monetary rewards, market share, customer satisfaction, or any other relevant measure. Game Tree A game tree is a graphical representation of the sequential decision-making process in the game. It shows the different stages or rounds of the game, the available choices at each stage, and the potential outcomes resulting from those choices. Game trees are particularly useful for analyzing games with multiple stages or players. Information Sets in some games, players may have incomplete or imperfect information about the actions and payoffs of other players. Information sets are used to model this lack of information. An information set represents a collection of decision nodes in the game tree, where a player cannot distinguish between different states of the game. Rules or Constraints Games are governed by certain rules or constraints that define the permissible actions and the structure of the game. These rules specify the order of play the information available to each player, and any restrictions on the strategies or actions that can be taken. Simulation Parameters Simulation parameters define the specific conditions, assumptions, and inputs used in the game theory simulation. They can include factors such as player preferences, probabilities, costs, market conditions, and any other variables relevant to the game being modeled. By combining these components, game theory simulations provide a structured framework for analyzing and understanding strategic interactions. They allow researchers, entrepreneurs, and decision makers to explore different scenarios, predict outcomes, and optimize strategies based on the anticipated actions of the players. Types of Game Theory Simulations Now that we understand the basics, let's explore the different types of game theory simulations commonly used in lean startup experimentation. Strategic simulations focus on modeling the strategic interactions between players. These simulations are used to analyze competitive dynamics, pricing strategies, market entry decisions, and other strategic aspects of a business. Market simulations simulate the behavior of customers or users in a market. They help us understand customer preferences, adoption rates, response to different marketing strategies, and the overall market dynamics. Behavioral simulations take into account the psychological factors that influence decision-making. They consider factors like risk aversion, social preferences, and cognitive biases. These simulations provide insights into how individuals or organizations make choices in uncertain or complex situations. The Benefits of Game Theory Simulations and Lean Startup Experimentation Now that we understand how game theory simulations and lean startup methodology align, let's explore the benefits of incorporating simulations into the experimentation process. Game theory simulations allow us to gain insights into complex systems. They help us understand how different variables interact with each other, identify patterns, and uncover unexpected outcomes. This understanding is invaluable for entrepreneurs trying to navigate the complexities of the market and make informed decisions. Risk Mitigation First and foremost, game theory simulations help mitigate risks associated with launching a new product or business. By simulating various scenarios, startups can anticipate potential challenges and devise strategies to overcome them. This reduces the likelihood of failure and increases the chances of success. Cost and Time Efficiency Game theory simulations also offer cost and time efficiency advantages. Instead of conducting expensive real-world experiments or waiting for market feedback, entrepreneurs can simulate and iterate on their ideas rapidly. This allows startups to test multiple hypotheses simultaneously and make informed decisions at a fraction of the cost and time. Strategic Decision Making Another significant benefit of game theory simulations is that they facilitate strategic decision making. Simulations provide entrepreneurs with a deeper understanding of competitive dynamics, allowing them to identify their unique value proposition, differentiate their offerings, and gain a competitive edge. Game theory simulations provide a data-driven approach to decision making. Instead of relying on intuition or guesswork, Entrepreneurs can analyze the simulation outcomes to inform their strategies. This allows for evidence-based decision-making and reduces the reliance on subjective judgments. Simulations support the iterative experimentation process of lean startup methodology. Startups can simulate different scenarios, test multiple hypotheses simultaneously, and iterate on their strategies based on the simulation outcomes. This iterative approach helps entrepreneurs learn quickly, adapt to changes, and improve their products or services over time. Practical Application of Game Theory To illustrate the practical application of game theory simulations and lean startup experimentation, let's take a look at the real-world case study. XYZ Company is a fictitious startup that developed an innovative smart home device. 
to determine the optimal pricing strategy for their product. XYZ Company used game theory simulations. XYZ Company simulated various pricing scenarios, taking into account different market conditions, competitor strategies, and consumer preferences. By analyzing the simulation outcomes, they discovered that a slightly higher price point combined with additional features would lead to higher market penetration and profitability. Armed with this information, XYZ Company adjusted their pricing strategy accordingly and successfully launched their product with a competitive edge. This case study demonstrates how game theory simulations can provide valuable insights to drive lean startup experimentation and improve decision making. Conclusion In conclusion, game theory simulations act as a catalyst for lean startup experimentation. By providing entrepreneurs with a controlled environment to test strategies, gain insights into customer behavior, and make data-driven decisions. By incorporating game theory simulations into the lean startup methodology, entrepreneurs can increase their chances of success and optimize their product offerings. It's important to note that game theory simulations are not a guarantee of success, but rather a tool to enhance decision-making and increase the chances of success. They provide a controlled environment to test hypotheses, validate assumptions, and refine strategies before committing substantial resources. As entrepreneurs embark on their lean startup journey, incorporating game theory simulations can be a valuable addition to their experimentation toolkit. By leveraging the power of simulations, entrepreneurs can make more informed decisions, optimize their strategies, and ultimately increase their chances of building successful and sustainable businesses. Remember, entrepreneurship is a dynamic and ever-evolving process. It requires continuous learning, adaptation, and experimentation. Game theory simulations offer a systematic and structured approach to experimentation, enabling entrepreneurs to navigate the complexities of the market with greater confidence and resilience. That's all for today's video. We hope you found this discussion on game theory simulations and lean startup experimentation insightful. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.